yes um good night um let's continue the 2009 specimen paper moving on to question 10 now as for question 10 item 10 refers to the diagram below showing the arrangement of teeth in the upper jaw of an adult human being the question which of the following labeled parts show an incisor and the answer for that is actually um a so a is what referred to as the incisor this one here this is of course um the canine and <coughs> so definitely a is the answer there moving down to question 11 in which part of the tooth are nerves found and the answer for question 11 that would be um the pulp cavity so that is d so definitely not the cement not the dentine nor it is not the enamel moving down to question 12 And an enzyme shows optimum activity at pH 2.5. In which part of the alimentary canal will this enzyme be most active? So this particular enzyme works best at approximately um, 2.5 pH. And that of course that is an acidic environment. The answer for that definitely is the stomach and that enzyme that they're talking about is known as pepsin let's move down to question 13 what is the end product of the digestion of carbohydrates so end product definitely that would be um, B and that is glucose starch is not an end product um, glycerol that would be one of the end product for fat digestion while amino acid would be end product for protein digestion let's move over to question 14 which of the following are ingested by the human body so ingested product so that is question 14 the answer for that seems to be um, B right so we have feces there along with undigested materials so ingested product is totally different from excretor product so the end products of metabolic of metabolisms those are known as excretory product moving down to question 15 the trachea is lined with ear like structures called and the answer for that is definitely um, a and that is the cilia moving on to question 16 which of the following best describes what happens during exhalation so we need to look at the box right there look at and see which combination best describe exhalation that is breathing out um breathing out no ribcage move up flattens no diaphragm flattens that's not answer b ribcage move up move down curve upward no c ribcage move down and in and the diaphragm curve upward so c is the correct answer right there going down to question 17 which of the following statements are true of aerobic respiration some first option there produce a large amount of energy that is correct carbon dioxide is always produced that is also um, correct produce lactic acid 
So um, A is the correct answer. Um, anaerobic respiration is what will produce a lot of lactic acid. So definitely A is the answer. So that's it for um, this episode. Again, just stay tuned. Check in the channel for the continuation of this paper. We are going to pick up with question 18. So once again, thanks again. We are out of here.